The UN was called in to cover up genocide. Michelle Bachelet in China lied and lied. But a fish rots from the head, this one's big Tony. Guterres hit bribes and praised them like a phony. Today's UN covers up genocide. Tony Guterres gets paid by the lie. She played bachelet like a pawn in chess. In a press conference, she said that she couldn't assess. In New York, Stefan Jujaric does no less. Questions from Zinhua were banned in the city press. But why did the U.S. mission prop Guterres up? Thanking him as he drinks from China's cup. The U.N. corrupts everyone and everything. If they ban you, you can stand at the gate and sing. Today's U.N. covers up genocide. Tony Guterres gets paid by the lie, by the lie, by the lie for genocide. Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern of New York Courthouse today, Thursday, May 26, 2022. This trip to Uyghur, to uh, China and the Xinjiang region, covering up the well-documented genocide against the Uyghurs. And is the U.S. really talking about that in terms of the U.N. sleaze? They're putting up for a vote a resolution on North Korea that China will oppose. And will Antony Blinken address any of this, including the U.N. rapes, today when he speaks? We'll see. To be continued. Felipe Gonzalez Morales. He's the U.N. High Special Representative on the Rights of Migrants, but he's paid by China, and he never criticizes China. He has only one outside donor, and it's China, and he says nothing about the treatment of African immigrants in China or the Uyghurs or anything else. He's paid just like Antonio Guterres. The U.N. is corrupt. They throw out the press that asks, but we've asked to be put back in, and we're wondering, where is the U.S. mission on this? To be continued.